So I've been doing some playing with the uh, PCB spot welder and um, I've decided to make a few upgrades. Um, I noticed, one thing I noticed is these are the leads coming from the battery. This is the uh, spot welding um, needle. It's actually thinner gauge wire um, on the needle than coming from the battery. So it occurred to me that maybe um, you know this thinner gauge wire was was um, um, caught, you know reducing the effectiveness of the spot welding needles, um, and and the the spot welding pen also has this thinner gauge wire compared to the 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 wire coming from the um, from the battery. I think it, yeah, it's ten gauge coming from the battery, but twelve gauge on the needles. So what I did is I had some old um, inverter leads laying around. So I grabbed a, I grabbed a couple, cut the ends off, and crimped on um, some eight gauge um, some eight gauge uh, uh, copper here, and ran it on the grinding stone to uh, you know put a nice point on them, and just crimped it on the end here, and. Um, I've been doing a bit of testing and I think this upgrade is pretty effective. This is the 0.15 that this struggled to solder before and I'm having no problem now um, making, the, making the spot welds. It's a bit hard with the camera here. Let me try this again and do this neater. Good. 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 Let me bring this up so you can see. Um, you can see how nice and neat. Forget this one I just messed up. I was trying to avoid getting in the camera. But you can see how nice and neat these first set of spot welds are. And this is on there. I mean, that is spot welded. And this is the thickest mm -hmm. stuff, the 0.15. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, you know, this PCB spot welder is killing it on this 0.15 with the larger upgraded needles. Um, and, and, you know, let's see if it can actually solder the 0.15 onto itself. That's it's actually almost harder to solder nickel onto nickel. So let's cut another piece of the 0.15. Let's cut a few more pieces of the 0.15. Let's see if we can solder it, you know, or if we can spot weld a tab on here. Let's see how this works. I haven't tested this yet. The only downside with using these inverter leads is they're pretty stiff, so the, the PCB welder ends up flying around in the sky when I when I go to use these. But um, let's let's see if we can. Whoop. Let's do this here. Whoop. Uh, pretty. Oh, you can't see. Pretty good. Let me try to do that again since I'm, it's kind of hard when I'm with the camera in the way. Let's go to a place that's flat. Let's do this again here. Let's push this down. Solid, solid. Um, I mean, that is a good spot weld. Tore the nickel in a couple spots. Um, um, really not bad at all. Let me do some more. Let's do another one here. Let's get a fresh, let's do a fresh row here. Oh, 
little bit of a blow out there, but beautifully spot welded. Okay, let's try to do this nickel across here now. And you can actually, I'll lift this up to the camera. You can actually tell when, you, when you've got a good spot weld. I don't know if you can see it. When you get a good spot weld, you can actually see the copper through the tin. It actually reveals the copper and, um, well, it, it, it's not revealing the copper. You're actually depositing a slight layer of copper from the needle on here and there's a copper color on all the really good spot welds. Um, oh yeah. That is on there. That's beautifully spot welded. So I think part of our problem was that the, 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 there just wasn't um, thick enough gauge wire on here. And you know, this is a 50C battery, so it's capable of 250 amps and we just weren't getting 250 amps through these thin needles. So I think with a nice sharp point to focus the energy and, a, um, and some thicker gauge wire, this PCB spot welder could actually, I think is actually more than capable of, of spot welding um, 0.15. You can see, look at those four I just did right there now. Yeah, that is, that is on there. Just for fun, I'm gonna spot weld actually some um, um, this is the this is the thicker 0.15 on the battery and this is the thinner 0.1 on the top. I'm gonna to do a little bit of spot um gonna spot weld this 0.1 on to the 0.15 not not going anywhere so the 0.1 sticks like a champ to the 0.15 with these upgraded needles. Um, the 0.15, I could kind of rip off the, the battery. I cannot rip the 0.1 uh, off the 0.15 on the battery. So, um, and you can see, I mean, it's totally, it's totally crumpled the nickel, but hasn't let go yet. So, um, yeah, this uh, this point one. Um, I think if I was to do a battery, I'd probably use the point one five across the batteries and join with point one, um, um, and then later I'd I'd probably have bus bars for additional current carrying capacity. But um, yeah, I think this needle upgrade was a um, was a great improvement to the um, to the the spot welder.